it's time to get our read on. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to a uh, special video. I guess we'll, we'll talk this up as a vlog video. Um, but as you can see, we are at my uh, Greasy Hendrix Tom McDonald disc uh, reaction. And uh, as you can see, yeah, we, we got quite a few views. I mean, 369 views, 21 likes and everything. But that's not what we came here. That's not why we are here. You know what I mean? What we are here for is... Um, the the, uh, the uh, novelization that that we got in the comment section down below. That's right. I'm gonna go through these comments because yo, some of these um, be hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Some of these, you know, kind of prove uh, Scheme's point in his song Reality TV. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some of these though are actually some some actually rather decent, pretty nice comments. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And uh, we only got like a handful of them, so I, I, yeah, we, we can we can go ahead and go through this whole thread. You know, what I mean, we'll address these comments one at a time. Kicking things off with uh, this top comment saying the quote: "Fans that are negative about your opinions are not fans. We are decent people that do respect others." So I'm I, I'm I'm assuming, at the risk of making an ass out of myself, I'm assuming this must be a a, a hog fam. Um, and as you can tell, I did like the comment, gave it a heart, because I do appreciate those kind words right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, at first it was going to be like a, you know, read only the negative comments. But, you know, we got plenty of channels that, that only, that do that. You know what I mean? Read only the negative comments. I wanted to read everybody's comments. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, you know, really those who show love, they, they, they should be deserving of, of, of the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Let's go ahead and continue on. This one coming from Dank2727. Issue with this is there is no originality. He says the same thing that Mac Lethal and others have about Tom. Tom has addressed every diss he put in there uh, in a song already. White privilege. Check. Culture vulture. Check. He didn't grow up in the hood. Check. The pink hair. Check. Uh, the hooks. Check. Filler bars about Nova, which, uh, to to be honest, I didn't really catch like the the uh, Nova references in Grizzy's diss. You know what I mean? Cause, uh, cause look, to be honest, and again, this is no shade or no cap on Grizzy, but I feel like that this was littered with a lot of filler and a lot of repeat lines. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sorry, but I gotta keep it a buck. Um, but anyway, filler bars about Nova, check. Nothing new or creative, not worth a response. And uh, I don't think, in all honesty, I would I would have to agree with that part of the comment. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Tom would respond to this because, as my man said, yeah, Grizzly did bring up a lot of issues that Mac guys like Mac Lethal have. And you know, you know, Grizzly uh, was I don't want to say worried. Um, I think that'd be that'd be that that would not be the best choice of word i think he would be he was concerned in being compared to mac lethal because why would you put in parentheses in your title i'm not mac lethal i mean because what does mac lethal have to do with anything i mean you know what i mean uh that's the name that you know again no cap no shade you know what i mean i have nothing against mac lethal i've heard some of his raps and whatnot i have nothing against the guy personally but that's just a name i haven't really been hearing a whole lot lately um but anyway Let's go on to the next one. Uh, the conservative cat. You can be thankful and express appreciation for someone inspiring you to greatness, but also disagree with some things they do and talk about those things. Uh, in other words, just because someone inspire you um, doesn't mean they can do no wrong. Tom admires M. Uh, Tom doesn't agree with taking a knee. M took a knee tom made fun of him for it that's not strange that's called being a human with principles just my opinion of course and conservative cat i appreciate your opinion you are entitled to your opinion and you know what that's actually a fair statement to make that is true just and, and i'm pretty sure i said this in in my reaction you know what i mean and i know i said this for sure in we in that we scheme reaction i just did facts 
just because you love an artist, that does not mean that, you know, you cannot disagree with your favorite artist. You know what I mean? Whether it's their politics, you know, their views or opinion on, on other things or whatnot. No, like I said, man, we can all have our own views and our own opinions. We cannot, you know, we, we can disagree on some things. And that doesn't mean that we, we can't show love and, and respect to each other, even though we may not always agree on things. So, so yes, I, I agree with conservative cat. That is a fair statement to make. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's move on to the next one. DJ bot. This, this was set up like a, uh, like a bait track, mainly because his angle was based on competition instead of his usual method of dissecting the person he's dissing. Now, to a degree, yes, I can agree with that. Cause if you go and you look at Grizzly's No Life Shack disc, obviously my man went into great detail as when when he you know laid in, into Shaq and calling out Shaq for being fake. You know what I mean? He talked about his um his experiences, his dealings with Shaq. You know, he had no problems putting all that out there. Whereas in the Tom disc, I didn't feel like you know there was really a whole a whole lot that um that my man really brought to the table. Like um, like someone else had commented, a lot of the stuff that he brought in was a lot of filler stuff. It was a lot of repeat stuff that has already been said about Tom that Tom has addressed. You know what I mean? The only thing Grizzly used, but again, it's not original because someone else had, had also addressed these things was the whole white privilege thing, you know, and all this other stuff, you know, and like um like Tom not liking hip hop or whatever because of the uh, song I hate hip hop which if you listen to the song I hate hip hop Tom is not dissing the genre and I'm and I don't care if Grizzy you know disagrees with this and and he could try to pull my my hip hop card all he wants um I I don't think he's really in the place to do that because he doesn't know what I know when it comes to hip hop and to be fair I don't know what he knows when it, what what, what when it comes to hip hop music and its history, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I'm not about to get into all that because to me, that's just that's just straight up childish, and that's just my opinion, by the way. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, I think Grizzy would have gotten a better result if he went straight to really breaking down Tom's faults. I agree. Um, but this whole thing started because his listeners brought Tom up as competition. I could tell that Grizzy um, didn't really put too much effort. In this diss track and I would have to agree I mean if you're gonna announce right a diss track that is for a high-profile artist whether you like Tom or not numbers don't lie the guy is a high-profile artist you know what I mean he's got a huge following he's got millions of followers you know what I'm saying the guy is a huge success in the game whether you like it or not whether you want to acknowledge it or not whether you like it or not he's a huge success in the game all the more power to Tom McDonald, you know what I mean? I'm not hating on the dude, you know what I mean? Hey, get your money, do your thing, live your best life, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I agree. If Hat Grizzly put in much more effort, right, and really dug into these talking points that Tom w would address in his music, you know what I mean, and brought in some, some counterpoints, it would have been a much better diss track. It would have been a more, a, a much more solid diss track, and probably, and probably, a diss track that would be worth responding to but but for what it is i'm sorry but i don't think that this track is quality enough for tom to dignify it with a response and again that's just my opinion you know what i mean bruh uh let me see try to pick up okay no i think i pretty much um where did i leave off at Okay, so I can tell Grizzly didn't put too much effort in this track, probably because he wanted to leave leeway for a response. That could be why, but if you want to leave leeway for a response, again, he should have dug dug deeper, you know what I mean? Dove deeper into the rabbit hole that so he could have brought up some stronger points. So I can agree, but also disagree with this piece of the statement at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, if it were to, if it were to happen, uh, he's not really, ex he's not really expecting a response though. This was done because his listeners asked for it. And that could very well be, be the case. So let's see, Suzanne, or actually let me check out the responses. Did I respond to this? 
Oh no, conservative cat responses. Good thing he isn't expecting a response because he certainly won't get one. Eh, most likely not. 60k subs, Grizzy versus 3 million subs. And this is where I'm going to have to agree and uh, with, with conservative cat again. Again, if if Tom were to respond to Grizzy, he would be punching down at this point. And again, no shade, no cap on Grizzy. But again, numbers do not lie. Tom has over uh, around 3 million subs. Grizzy has almost 60, 60K subs. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um... Ain't gonna happen. There's absolutely no upside for Tom to respond to a relative nobody to him. Well, I, to be fair, I wouldn't say Grizzy um, is, is a nobody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's got some numbers too. Granted, it's nowhere near, you know, the, the uh, following Tom has, but still the man has a following. You know what I mean? So you can't really say he's a nobody. I mean, you could, but I mean, that's a disingenuous statement to make. Just my opinion. If Grizzy can somehow get more traction, this could happen in the future. Now, not a chance. Fair enough. Fair enough. And DJ Bot responds with, okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Suzanne Wilson says, what I don't understand are people like that hater and you saying he constantly re repeats himself. First of all, he has more non-political tracks than political well, I never said, to be fair, I never said Tom only puts out political tracks. I said a lot of his songs lately have been more political based than anything else. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to watch this reaction and fact check me if I'm wrong. Um, because I did say too that I do enjoy a good portion of Tom's music. I know it's not all political. I never said it was all political or only political. And the only reason I say that is because let's read more into this comment. See, have you even listened to one of his complete albums? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do have a Tom McDonald album. Let's see, do I have it right here? Uh, let's see. I have Wild Card. I have Wee Scheme. Wee Scheme. Wee Scheme. Oh, it's in it's in my closet with my Mad Child album. Otherwise, I would show it. So. If you don't want to take me out of my word, that's cool. You don't have to. It is what it is. <clears throat> but anyway, this guy, who is he anyway, is forever dissing uh, ever everyone and is coming off like a jealous attention seeker. Mm. Uh, no comment on that. Uh, he did the, the same to a few others. And there are misconceptions. Well, to be fair, he had a diss battle with Screwface. Um, and speaking of Screwface, we'll get into more about him in a bit because someone did bring him up. But anyway, um, in what he is spewing, why doesn't he take his? Why doesn't he take this time he spends putting down others and use it constructively on his own music? Well, to be fair, um, I believe you just answered your own question. It's his own. As you said, it's his own music to which he is entitled to do whatever he wants with his music. Him being Grizzly Hendrix. Just as Tom is entitled to do whatever he wants with his music. So, yeah, you kind of answered your own question there. Um, but anyway, uh, he is becoming a joke. A sad one at that. Again, that's a matter of opinion to which I don't agree with. Um, does he have an album coming out? Anyway, I've wasted enough time. I've wasted enough time here already. Well, Suzanne, thank you for gracing um, my channel with your presence. Appreciate that algorithm boost. Uh, anyway, you know what? I should go ahead and heart that. Because, uh, you know, even though you took time out of your life to, again, grace my channel with your presence, you did help with the algorithm boost. So at least I can do is show my appreciation for you. <laughs> Anyway, bro, Tom can appreciate him for his music and completely disagree with his politics. True. Um, I feel the same way as Tom. M is the greatest rapper in my opinion. And to a degree, I would agree. Um, but he's ignorant as fuck when it comes to politics. 
I can agree with that. Um, he needs to be taught correctly like most people who believe in the left. Now, if by needs to be taught correctly, you mean to be properly educated, then sure, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because I feel like um, M has been fed a lot of misinformation because he's not looking at the overall scope of things. So yeah, I can see, yeah, it's, maybe it's possible dude is being misled because he doesn't have, have the time to whatever... He, even though I beg to differ when it comes to that to a degree, because I mean, you're you're going around and you're and you're you're spewing out the, this this narrative from from the left, you know what I mean? Because you're looking at things from one side, but why not you know look at the overall scope of things before you know popping off at the jaws, you know what I mean? And speaking on things that you don't have full knowledge of, you know what I'm saying? Instead of speaking on just the one side of things. So yes, so so my man Jay here, Jay Boss, he does he does have a point that I do agree with. Um, see, Tom won't even reply to this clown. Like I said, probably not. And I don't know if I don't necessarily call Grizzly a clown. Again, the guy is entitled to do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants. You know what I mean? But anyway, Lisa Rooney says if he wanted Tom to come back at him, he would have he would have had to go harder than this. I agree. Um, it may be, it may be a bait, but I doubt he'll get a response. You could be right. Um, and I would suggest you look harder at Tom and I would suggest you pay more attention to what I say in my reaction, because again, I'm pretty sure I said I enjoy a good portion of Tom's music and never once did I say he's only political or all he does is is political music i've never said that's all he does and i even said too i wish he would expand on other things than just his politics and speaking of his politics i also said i agree with tom's politics to a degree anyway <clears throat> tom uh he has way more uh political stuff his political stuff makes up like 10 percent of his catalog and, and she could be right. You know what I'm saying? To be fair, in all fairness, she could be right. Check out his latest album, The Brave. He has three political songs and 11 non-political songs. Now, to be fair, I have not heard The Brave as I admit it in the, in the reaction. So, yeah, maybe I will check it out. Maybe I will check it out because for all I know, Lisa could be right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, hey, man, whichever fake ass uh, hog fan ran their mouths like that at you for your opinions on behalf of Genuine Hog. I apologize, and we do not claim them as one of us, and neither would Tom 100. And I did respond to this to uh, my man Jinx BMD. Said so appreciate it, fam, and he responds with respect all your your opinions, bro. I'm bored with most of them. One point I would agree to disagree is on the repetitive claim, only because I think there's something you're not taking into account. Fair enough. Uh, Tom puts almost all of his political tracks on YouTube because it grabs attention. But when you consider his whole catalog of work on his albums, I think he is far more varied than you think he is. Fair enough. Let me see. Honestly, only about 30% of his overall catalog is political. His last album was 19 tracks. On the physical album, only three were really political in any way. Sure, it's clickbait because he's putting the controversial stuff out to blow up, but he's already owned that on YouTube release material. But he's already owned that on YouTube release material. Okay. Uh, so he ain't trying to hide that strategy. So I'm not sure why it's a problem. Like I said, it's, it's not a problem. It's just, you know, because again, to be fair, I do have, like I said, I do have some Tom music. You don't believe me? I mean, hell, let me, let me pull up my iTunes. Cause I'm pretty sure I got some Tom music here on iTunes. If not, I know I have a physical album. Again, it's in my closet. Boom, look at that. Tom McDonald, Dream People. Let me see, let me finish that. Dream People and the Whiskey Wars. 
Tom McDonald, I hate hip hop. Tom McDonald, see you tomorrow. <laughs> see, Tom McDonald, politically incorrect. Tom McDonald, people so stupid, people so dumb, people so boo hoo, wah wah wah. Tom McDonald, the music industry. Tom McDonald, white boy, white trash, crimson and clover. Oh shit, my bad. That was that was a different Tom. <laughs> my bad. Uh, the, yeah. So I got from from white boy single. White Trash single with Adam Calhoun going all the way back up to Dream People and the Whiskey Wars. So, yeah. So, y'all was saying? <laughs> anyway, um, I heard no lies and nothing fake, man. And that's what matters. Hey, Jinx, appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Much love, much respect. You know what I'm saying? It is all the way good, fam. See, uh, CBD Run, great reaction. My reply to him was, thanks, fam. Appreciate you with the prayer hands. Uh, Christopher Cunningham. Yeah, deep down, no hate, but I think Grizzy is trying to pull what Mac Lethal did. Um, he is just repeating the uh, same stuff Mac threw at Tom uh, in his diss tracks. Just recycled nonsense. People already heard before. I uh, hate to say it, but he's becoming what he got on screw years ago and this is one of the points i wanted to get into because um yes as as you guys if you've been following uh grizzy like i have and if you, and if you guys are very familiar with with screw face then you guys should know there was a back and forth between grizzy and screw face grizzy called out screw um for using the uh, the uh, race card and you know using um race bait tracks against white rappers what is grizzy doing now with tom with the whole white privilege thing i'm just saying if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck it must be a fucking duck i'm just saying i don't want to say 2.0 but it's kind of hard to hide that when you're doing the same thing that you criticize another rapper you know for for doing I'm just saying, you know what I mean? You want to talk about hypocrisy? Like I said, hypocrisy is one hell of a drug, ain't it? Uh, Joseph Day, uh, T-Mac would crush this cat. Can't really compare these artists. I mean, fair point, fair point. Uh, let's see. Mary, shout out to Mary. She's, she's. Always, always showing love to my channel. So, yeah, Mary, if you're watching this, appreciate you very much. Uh, gonna get flack, but diss tracks are riding coattails. I mean, she's not wrong. Uh, always pissing on bigger artists. How about an original track? I'm sick of most of the same artists, too, but damn. Damn. I mean... She's not wrong, and this is why, you know, again, I, I haven't really been that, that big of a fan when it comes to diss tracks, because lately, yeah, she's not wrong. Diss tracks are some, some coattail freaking shit, you know what I mean? Clout ch it's, it's clout chasing. Now, look, I said in my reaction, I mean, we're all clout chasing at the end of the day. We're all trying to get attention, you know what I mean, because attention helps boost our numbers. That's why we do what we do. It's all about the numbers, you know what I mean? The bigger the following... You know what I mean? And obviously, you know, the more clout you're going to be bringing in, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that's what this is. You know what I mean? For some of us, this is a, a career choice. You know what I mean? This is a, a job. This is our livelihood. You know, it's just, if anything, there's a right way to clout chase. There's a, and there's the wrong way to clout chase. And I feel like this tracks today, you know what I mean, that... That, that are being made for, for the sake of some, some bullshit internet beef, you know what I mean? To me, that's the wrong way to clout chase, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's, let's move on. Uh, Mr. Brain Strutton says, I don't understand why people say he's only political. Again, I never said he's only political. I've said a lot of his stuff that he's been putting out lately has been mostly political. I never said he was only political. See? <clears throat> and which is ironic because Joseph Day came, came in again with, you don't listen, bro. Well, apparently some of y'all in the comment section don't listen either. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
Look at his three solo videos, the system. Again, ex explain how that's not political. But anyway, um, Ballon, I think you mean Balloon. And I never said Balloon was a political song. I know what Balloon's about. Naked, never said that was a political song. Um, all three very different. Okay. Or the, vi the four videos off the Brave. Two were political, two were not. I think you could say, I think you could say that about most artists. A lot of rappers uh, just talk about partying, women, money in every song or gang banging in every song. No one ever said, said, damn, another gangster song from NWA. Sure, wish they would do something different. Um... Pretty sure NWA was wasn't just doing game banging music. Actually, you know what? If you listen to NWA, a lot of their stuff was political based. I mean, I'm not gonna disagree that a lot of their stuff was political based. Some some stuff was political based. Some stuff was was yeah, it was it was gangsta gangsta. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but anyway, this is just garbage. LOL. Okay. Um. I mean, if you're referring to to Grizzly's diss. I mean, that's your opinion. If you're referring to my reaction, I mean, hey, that's your opinion. And then uh, Joseph Day, like I said earlier, told me, you don't listen, bro. And my response to him, I'm not high, LOL. <laughs> uh, and then Cheryl McCollum comes in with not worth even watching. Not worth even watching. Um, hmm, not worth even watching, huh? Okay. Um, my, my response to that still appreciate the algorithm boost. <laughs> Cause I don't know if she means Grizzy's this or my reaction either way. I mean, if this was a, a total waste of time for you, then. Why would you want your name or your face to be shown in a video that, according to you, was not worth even watching? Do, do, do you see the irony in that? <laughs> oh, people so stupid, people so dumb, people so boo-hoo, wah, wah, wah. Oh, man. Get better issues. We're going to run out of tissues. So dumb. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all. Really hope you guys enjoyed this this little uh, read-along, I guess you want to call it, of, of all these comments that I got for my Grizzly Hendrix Tom McDonald diss. Um, feel free to share your thoughts and opinions, you know what I'm saying, in the comment section down below. It is all the way gravy trained, you know what I'm saying. Um... If you guys enjoy this don't forget to mash that like you know what i'm saying don't forget to mash that subscribe button uh ring that notification bell so you never miss an upload that'll be very much appreciated don't forget to check out of course all the links in the video description down below that'll also be very much appreciated and uh yeah it's your boy jason jv saying until the next one y'all have a blessed one peace